Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to LDR's Creative Run Studio tonight. And we're going to be showing you our November collection. Hopefully, you guys have seen it in the store already. But I'm going to give you guys an up close and personal uh, step by step through every one of the 22 products in this collection. I love these nights. I always love that. I. It's one of my favorite things, like getting to reveal to you guys something that we've been working on for so long. I mean, I love crafting, you guys know that. Um, but I'm also um, not really good at keeping secrets. So for me to keep these secrets all the time, <laughs> for months when we're working on something, um, and then to finally be able to share it with you guys, it's like, ah, I, I just kind of explode inside and it's pretty awesome. So I wanna give everybody a big hello. We've got so many people coming in here. We've, I see Jen Ray, Sharon Gullickson is here, Beth Ballone, Cindy Patty. I see Will is here and uh, Wynn, oh, thank you so much. She says, I like your sweater. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's keeping me warm here in Michigan. Uh, Sandy Yee is here and uh, Sue D is here. Uh, who else is here? I'm trying to see everybody. Uh, Sharon and Bia Van, okay, I'm just going to go with Bia or B. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy is here, Expressive Paper. Oh, Yarlis is here. So many people coming in. Um, oh, Elizabeth, IB Elf. I think, Al Alan, was it, was it, was Elizabeth that joined yesterday that you said? Yeah, Alan saw that you joined yesterday and, um, and so thank you for coming back. We appreciate that. Um, I also know that Margaret Chapman is here from Ohio. I saw your name in there, and I actually tried to call Corrine yesterday just because I saw your post, Margaret, where you, um, I think it was a post where you had like five or six guys, and they were all looking under the hood of a truck or a car or something, and I just thought it was hilarious. So I absolutely adore you. I think you're great. So I thought that was so funny. Um, who else is coming in? We have Margie is here and Angel. So many people coming in. Kathleen, um, so, so great. Thank you, everyone everybody for coming in. Um, I, I really am. I'm super, super excited to show this to you. I'm not going to be doing any, any crafting, but I have a lot of card samples to show you guys. So yay! And bonus, bonus, bonus. It's not Christmas and it's not winter. It's none of that stuff. We wanted to really get a jump on, um, I'm just doing stuff for like everyday crafting. So these are things that you can use all throughout the year. They're great for spring, great for summer. <coughs> Great for any occasion, all occasions, every day, however you want to use them. These are going to be fantastic staple items in your crafty stash. So yay! Uh-oh, Will, yep, nope, sorry, no crafting today, but we're gonna we're gonna get y'all drooling over everything here because I think you're gonna like what I've got to show you. Yay! So if Mr. Hunt would make his way <laughs> From my side, he's standing here reading all the comments coming through, and I'm going um, mm, over there. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, go. Okay. Okay. Woo. <laughs> this is yep. That is the one that I want. The one I want. How does that go? You are the one I want. Ooh, hoo, hoo, honey. Yay. Okay. What movie is that from? And do you know the song? Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to choke myself. Do you recognize after I slaughtered it like I did? <laughs> you may not know what it is. I kind of mutilated it. Anyway, look how, look how cute these are. Right now, I want you to focus on what these two cards have in common, and it is those gorgeous flowers. Absolutely. Love these flowers. Yes, Cindy and Sharon, you got it right. It is Greece. You're the one that I want. Yay. Okay. So look at these, look at these flowers. I really am so big into uh, solid stamping. I love solid stamping. Um, and uh, so that's really where this comes from. So this is our thank you flowers. This set I think is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you flowers. This is four by six. It's four by six stamp set. And you can see in here that, you know, multiple flowers are on one stamp. So there's 12 stamps in here all together, but you're actually getting a lot more, you know, like more images all together. As you know, I love the idea of being able to like stamp once or get it stamped and then only, you know, have to die cut them one time and cut out a whole bunch of things. So first of all, if you look on the back, you can see how beautiful those are. Aren't they sweet? They're really, really simple, but you're actually going to be layering these up. So when you layer them up, and you can see on the back of the dies what they look like when you layer them up. They're easy to layer because you can see that you've got this one right here, right? This one lays over the top of it. 
and then you're going to be putting in the, the the centers so it's really really simple when you want to start layering these up you've got um, little um, like little stems and little leaves and little flowers and all kinds of stuff over here so we've also got a cinnamon in here and look at these little dots isn't that just like the cutest thing ever not everything layers so we have like this little floral over here Okay, so that is not necessarily going to layer with anything. So some of it layers, some of it doesn't. Here's another little flower that doesn't. But you have a lot of options in here. And um, we actually do have, I should probably let you know, we launched our new collection just yesterday. And we launched, I want to say five videos. It was either five or six videos um, on right here on our YouTube channel where we're, we're really showing you how to use a lot of these products you know, on their own and crossing them between each other and kind of mixing and matching. So, oh, did you notice, did you notice the packaging color? Is this the first time we've had this packaging color? It will. I know it's hard to say because we've been looking at it for we so have long. One other product. Yeah, did you notice our new packaging? We switched yeah. up our packaging color a little bit, so you no longer have that green. I wanted something that was going to be really bright, and so we've switched it off to a really pretty blue. Anyway, on the back here, you can see which dye goes, you know, with each of those. And so I'm going to be using these in, you know, one of my lives. Absolutely. Here we're showing you some of the finished products here or finished projects here where we have some of those leaves and um, the flowers all, you know, stamped and layered and die cut. And then we're at Sneak Peek Coming Attractions, that little big hug there. And this color, this card, I know it, it looks like it's black on screen, I think, but it's actually navy blue in there. It's really beautiful. And then this one you can see where we're actually using that little circle die that you see, or stamp that you see down here. Can you see that it was stamped twice in kind of um, shadows? Isn't that so pretty? It looks like it's glowing. A simple thank you, a few little flowers, and that's it. You're good to go. What a sweet and gorgeous little card. I absolutely love it. Um, oh, <laughs> Sheila said, almost thought, whose product is she promoting? <laughs> <laughs> Does this, oh, because of the color on the packaging. <laughs> yeah, we changed it up. Got to keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> All right, so that is the thank you flowers. Check these out. Look at how gorgeous. Stamp stencil dies. You know how much I love those trio sets of the stamps and stencils and dies. And this one is, um, it's, well, I'm, I'm just going to say it. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I know you guys hear it all the time, but I absolutely love it. It is so it's cute. Like my mom. Yep. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Hanlon says, it's like my mom. There's like, I don't know, 37 kids in his family, and she says every one of them is her, is her favorite. <laughs> we, all, we all thought we were her favorites. <laughs> Okay, so this one, I don't know if you sneak peek coming attraction, see that circle back there, and you see, see some little polka dots back there too, and we're going to get to those momentarily. But right now I want you to focus on those beautiful flowers, and here is another version of them here as well. And then we have the Nothing Compares to You, Thinking of You Always, so, so pretty, and this is your stamp set right here. It's called Flower Doodles. This concept, again, is where we have, I shouldn't say again, but for those of you that know how our stamp stencil dies work, um, we had the one large stamp here for all of the flowers. So you literally stamp all of your images once. We have two separate stamps for sentiments, um, but you stamp all of your flowers once. This is what they look like on, you know, on the back to show you what they can look like when they're colored up. Then you can, you can either stamp them and then color them with watercolors or markers, whatever you want, or your other option is to color them with the Flower Doodles layering stencils. And um, on the back here, we show you, we've got four stencils in here, and we show you, you're going to use stencil 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B, and this is what it's going to look like when you're done. These are going to layer perfectly because we have our alignment guides on here, and it's going to help you to align um, each stencil um, over what you just stenciled, no matter where you start stenciling on the page. So you don't have to start in a corner or anything like that. So once you get those colored, then you're going to use your die set to cut them. So you stamp all your flowers at one time, color them with your stencils, and then you use this large die right here to cut them all out. And for the sentiments, we have two dies for each of those sentiments. So you can cut out the sentiment, plus you can shadow it as well. And of course, true to form, we map it out in the back so you can see what goes where. And then you can make pretty cards 
just like these. Aren't these gorgeous? Gorgeous. I'm going to set this one aside right now because I'm going to show you. See that polka dot in the background that I mentioned to you? That polka dot is done with this dot to dot stencil. It's a really simple stencil, but I wanted one that had just almost looks like all of these are like little bubbles or little dots that are kind of falling from the sky in different sizes, no rhyme or reason to the pattern. So there's, there's, there is no pattern actually. Um, but I just think they're really pretty. This is a single stencil. You get one stencil. This is what it looks like, a little better picture of it. And so basically what we did here on this card is we uh, did color blending in the background and then you layer your stencil over the top and you can just use like your your um, your white ink to uh, color blend white and create almost like little they look like little bubbles or maybe that's some of the you know the pollen or I, I don't know I just think it's so pretty to have that texture back there so um, that was done with the dot to dot so another way to use the dot to dot is right here. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Now this we, we all we did was stencil um, with the dot to dot with black in the background over white and then I put some little clear enamel dots on there just to give a little bit of something shimmery and shiny. Um, but notice that flower. Ah! I love layering layering dyes, right? Layering floral dyes. So I'm going to move the dot to dot over here right now. And we're going to bring in our doodle flower. Now Alan is already, he's already like not happy with me because did you notice this one was called flower doodles? And then this one we called doodle flower. And he was, I, I remember when he looked at, he was like glaring at me like, oh my gosh, what are you doing to me? You're killing me. <laughs> we're going to get that wrong every time we back them up. So I told him, go by the item number. <laughs> so anyway, this die set, and will you um, come out to camera? There you go. So you can see this is an A2 card right here. All right. So this is five and a half inches tall. You can see how big this die set is. 22 dies in total. And we show you on the back how you layer them up to create your flowers, all right? So everything that layers is shown on the back. So here we're showing how the flower layers here and then you just add your leaves at the bottom and you have this image right here. Um, we're showing you how the flowers layer up here and then you can add leaves and you can add whichever leaf you want. It doesn't matter, you can mix them up. Um, and again, we're showing you layers here um, and then we're showing you a little example there at the bottom how you can layer them up if you want. But um, 22 dies in total. And Alan, if you come in a little bit closer again, if you zoom in, I want to see if you guys can see the, um, the dimension or the texture. I don't know if it shows up very well in the camera. Sometimes it's hard to catch it because we have so much light in here. Let me do it on this one instead. This one shows a little bit better. Isn't that beautiful? So you can see all of that detail in there, those little deboss lines. So here's two different examples of what you can do with this set. We've layered them up differently too, so you can create different combinations. Here we've layered up three pieces and we put the, the, the leafy piece in the front. You can see this little piece down here. When we layered them up here, we only put two layers, didn't put that other little piece there, and we actually put the leaves kind of behind the flower. So you can do it different ways. And then sneak peek coming attraction, look at the sentiments, look at the circle. <laughs> Sneak peek, coming attractions. So this is the flower doodles dies, and I absolutely love it. So many different things that you can do with it. In these two cards, we use the same flowers, but there's there's obviously you can see all these different um, different flowers that you can create and different leaves as well. So they're absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to work with it myself live for you guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, next up. Next up, ah, who loves when we do the big words? Raise your hands, big words. The big word this time is love. Absolutely perfect timing because coming up in just a couple of months is going to be, what is it? What is it? Valentine's Day, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Is that a question? Am no, I to answer? it wasn't a question. It was just more for participation oh, effect. Oh, okay. I don't know if I was supposed to answer. Or... <laughs> no, I like that you answered. Maybe a little more enthusiasm 
and incite and excitement last next oh, time. Oh, that's my favorite. Yes, holiday. yes. Alan had the script, but he didn't read the fine print when it told him how he was supposed to say it. So, <laughs> so yes, love is the big word this time. Notice some of those stamps in the background. Sneak peek coming attractions. Oh, scrapbook and cards today is here. Hello, is that Catherine? I wonder. Hello, hello, hi, welcome. <laughs> um, this is. Like I was saying, this is our big word love die, and we also have words in there too. Check this one out. Ah! Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. Name that tune. Mamma Mia. <laughs> That's like my game. It's like I'm realizing that I, I'm realizing I have a song like in my head almost all the time. And I'm starting to play Name That Tune. Do you guys remember Name That Tune? Yes, it is Catherine. Hello. Hi, Catherine. Welcome. She'll recognize that one then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she might recognize this card. Um, so, yes, so this is our large word love. And so this, I actually did that, what is it called again? Um, glossy accents. So here, here we went ahead. All right, let me show you what we have in here. So we have the four by six stamp set, right? The large word, true to form, like you're used to seeing. And then we have the words and it says, you and forever, always. All right, so we give you on the back, you can see a little more clearly what they look like. And then we also have the dies. So this is another option. And the large word dies um, have the word love. And then we also have the shadow behind it. And then we have a die for each of the words that you see in the stamp set, okay? now. You can use these together. I will tell you this though. The stamp for the word love is exactly the same size as the die for the word love. And all the stamps for these words are exactly the same size as the die. So you don't need to mix and match those. But what you can do is you can stamp with the stamp and then you can shadow with the, shad with, with the shadow die over here. So you can use these together and you get a different look depending on how you use them. So with this one here, we stamped the word love and then we cut it with the shadow die and then we actually used the shadow die a second time and just kind of offset it a little bit to give us another shadow behind it. And then this one here is strictly dies. So I die cut the word love in red. I put gla gla bleh, glossy yeah. accents all over the whole thing. You want to do that the night before because you want to have enough time for that to set up and dry. And then I just cut it again in black, offset it and look at these beautiful flowers. Recognize those? We already saw those flowers. Those flowers are from the Thank You, uh, thank, uh, thank you Flowers stamp and die set. And then you guys probably recognize our plaid dies in the background. That's really all that that is. And you know, I love it. It shows you how you can mix and match. And then sneak peek coming attractions. Take a look at those. All right, those, we, we created that in the background. That's not padded paper. Those flowers in the background were actually done with stamps that I'm going to be showing you in just a few momentos. Next up, how beautiful is that? Stenciling is like, again, one of my absolute, you know, big time favorite things to do. Where is my stencil? Where did my stencil go? Alan, where's my stencil? Which, which stencil? I've lost it. It's right here. Oh, actually, I'm not, I'm all right, we're just going to plow through. I had things out of order. So if you look at the stencil, I, what I was going to cover was this. I had it out of order. But we have this gorgeous stencil. This is a gardenia. We're showing it here in orange and in pink. Absolutely stunning. Again, layering stencils. Raise your hand, hands in the air if you love layering stencils. This one is absolutely amazing. Four stencils. We show you on the back, true to form, how we always do. And we show you how you're going to layer them up. So 1A, 1B are going to be your pinks for your flower. And 2A and 2B are going to give you those beautiful um, leaves in the background there. And one of my favorite things about this is the space between all of the little parts of the flowers and the leaves. I thought this was such a cool idea because to me it makes it look like stained glass. And I absolutely love it. We've got a video that Linnea did. You have to check out the videos that she did um, on our YouTube channel. She's showing you all kinds of different ways and really explaining all of these products and giving you all kinds of tips and tricks right, you know, just like from the get-go, you know, right away 
Um, we, we've launched it. We've got beautiful videos up there to get you guys started so when you get your products home, you can start crafting. So anyway, four stencils in here and they layer up and you can do amazing things like that. So what about these sentiments back here? Who loves our word dies? Remember we talked about word dies, the large word dies. Well, we have, um, these are our everyday word dies on all occasions. So we did some wonderful Halloween and Christmas word dies that we can barely even keep in stock. Absolutely love them. And we decided, because so many people wanted more, um, that we would do some really fun sentiments. So I'm gonna flip this over. You can see this one is for every day. Oh, and I wanna point out, you not only do you get the word die, but you also get the shadow for each of these as well. So you get four different words and then four shadows. So in here, and we always try and do um, sentiments that you're not going to find everywhere. Um, just for something new and fresh. So we have nothing compares to you. Yes, that's from a song. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody name the artist? <laughs> nothing compares to you. You're a whole lot of awesome. Alan says that to me all the time. <laughs> See your whole lot of. <laughs> um, anything is possible because I truly and honestly believe that if you put your heart and soul and hard work and energy into whatever your goal is, I, I do believe anything is possible. And I've got your back. Um, I love this one. I've got your back because I think you can use that in so many situations. And I think it's very important that everybody knows that there is somebody who's got their back. So I think these are really, really fun. Um, and then, of course, all occasions. So we have, again, four sentiments and four shadow dies in here. We've got, I can't wait to celebrate you. So happy for you. I love you more each day and I can't thank you enough. That's also something Alan says to me a lot. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> so, so there are word dies. And do you like that font? Isn't that such a fun and cute font? I think it's so great. So here we go. This one has I love you more each day. And see, these are, Alan made these for me. And, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> he didn't make them for me. Um, he just wishes he did. He should have, let's put it that way. So I love you more each day, and I can't thank you enough. And they're so, so pretty. These are combined with the gar uh, gardenia layering stencils. Um, here is another one where we've got nothing compares to you, and you're seeing these flowers again in the background. So, 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 so pretty. I'm, I am going to get to that. That's coming up. Uh, but I wanted you to see this because I, I think it's so pretty. It's done in black and white, and I just think it's just stunning. Okay, check out those flowers. Here's some more of them. We are really, really loving these, these flowers. Absolutely. They're called, they're silhouettes, and they're absolutely amazing. Um, so nothing compares to you. Notice the, that, that rectangle. I almost said square. Notice the rectangle in the background. Here's another one where we've taken one of those sentiments, glittered it up, and notice we have that beautiful little background. Um, it's kind of reversed. So here you have the white background and we have stenciled the rectangle. Here we are color blended, I guess you would say. Here we have the heart is in white and we've color blended around it. Here's another one. Look how pretty that is with a beautiful heart. So, so gorgeous. And some of those little splatters, again, sneak peek coming attractions. And then here's another one. How pretty. How did we do that? We did that with, Alan, you're going to have to go to, actually, you know what, leave it there. We did it with stencils. So this is the very first one. This is our circle spotlight. And we have a whole bunch of spotlight stencils. You can see in here that you get two stencils. Let me see if I can angle this ever so slightly. Actually, I can't see it better on the back. Um, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. I'm trying to get the lines on there. Do you see the lines on there? Those lines are etched. Let me open one of these up. Um, it's hard to see when we have so much light in here. Yeah, and if we didn't have light in here, I wouldn't be able to see anything at all. So, um, But I'm going to hold this up and try and catch that light. Do you right. see? All right. Do you see the lines on there? Let me see if I can get it better. Oh, there, there we go. See the lines. All right. Circle spotlight stencil. All of those lines are measurements that you're going to use for centering the circle on 
um, on A2 cards and on square cards. Um, so it makes it super, super easy. You're going to get, you're going to get this, um, the, the stencil so that you can create the spotlight. You're also going to get, this is a three inch piece and it actually says three inches on there. There you go, it's a three inch circle. If you want to use it in the reverse, that's how we did this. Um, we actually put the heart down and you would put that down and then you would color blend around it. That's how you do the reverse. And so that's why we give you both of these pieces. So we have all of those alignment guides on there to make it super easy for you. And you're going to be able to create absolutely stunning focal points or spotlights with this. Here we're showing you a gorgeous card on the back, just a little sample of what you can do. So this one is the circle. We also have the square, the cup purdy. So, so pretty. This is the square. We have a rectangle that you saw here, right? Here is the rectangle. And we have that gorgeous heart that you see here. Look at how pretty. So I love how we did the, the back of these. If you notice, we have given you the same card on the back of these four different ways. Let's see if we can do this. Can I get them all on camera? So we're showing you the same card four different ways. Changed up the sentiment, we color blended in the same colors, used the same flowers in the background, super, super easy, fantastic for um, creating, you know, mass producing cards. Absolutely easy and fun and amazing. Next up, look how gorgeous that is. See how pretty, pretty, this is what I want you to look at right here, those beautiful flowers right there. So amazing. Here is another card that I did. I just love these. I think they're so pretty. And here's the third one. Ah! These are done with the 4x6 floral solid layering stamps. Absolutely stunning. Self-explanatory. Um, you know, you're just literally going to be layering up your stamps, layering up your colors, and you can kind of mix these up however you want. There's no rhyme or reason. You can layer them or not. So here we have layered um, three different, you know, three different stamps to create each of these, where you literally grab a large stamp with your lightest color, and then grab another stamp with your medium color, and then you can grab one of the little shadow pieces like so, and that's gonna be your darkest color. And we show you on the back a sample of how you can layer them up. Then you're also going to get splatters, which are so, so fun. All of these little splatters that we did here, you're no longer gonna have a mess in your craft room because we have given you a little stamp to create the most pretty little splatters. Um, you get your little leaves down here if you want to put them on stems and of course you have a couple of sentiments here And there's no dies that go with this because they're not really necessary. This is something where you can create um, Custom flowers, so you know one die isn't necessarily going to fit How you create your your layered floral because you can kind of mix them up however you want now if you notice these little black um, images the florals in there That's what you saw on here Right? That's what, we, that's what you saw there. That's what you saw in the background here. All right, those same little silhouette flowers and you saw it on these little um, spotlights. Those are done with the floral silhouette stamp set right here. Isn't that gorgeous? This is probably one of the most versatile stamp sets we have ever put out. I will tell you we're almost out of this already. Um, if you haven't ordered this and you want it, I suggest you do it because we're almost out of it. We've, we've got them on, on reorder, but that's going to take a little while before they're done. Um, but uh, yeah, this was our most popular one so far. It's going like crazy. So, so fun. And there's eight stamps. You can use them on their own. You can mix and match them with the floral solid layering stamps. So, you know, here they're used on their own in a background. Here they're used on their own right here. Um, and then here we're using them with the florals, um, the solid layering stamps. So you have a lot of options with it. So, so pretty. Love this set. Absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty. Now you've already seen the gardenia um, stencil. What I want you to look at here is that beautiful circle and then the word big hugs. 
Here's another one where we have very simple card. I mean, you could literally put this together in just a few minutes. But look at the circle again, all right? And look at the word hello. These were both um, done using this double stitch scallop circle. We're showing you on the back. Okay, you get two different dies with this one. We're showing you how you can combine it, tell you what it coordinates with. You can combine this if you want. You don't have to. You can just grab this and this can be your new, you know, perfect scallop uh, circle. Um, it has a double stitch on the inside of the outer die and then the, the nested die is literally just a circle, a uh, circle die with a single stitch on it. But you're going to be able to coordinate it with the circle phrases dies. Now you get four dies in here. This is a big die set. Um, each one of these has a cutting edge around the circle and then it cuts out the word miss you, big hugs, with love, and hello. So you can see what they look like right here. And this is what you're going to get. So this one, there was another card early on right here, okay? So here on this first card, we used the largest die here, um, that, the, the double stitched scallop circle, all right, to cut out that circle. And then out of the center, we put big hugs and now we have two different cards with it. So we used our die, our die cut piece, removed the big hugs letters, and used that piece on one card. And then we took the little bits and pieces that say big hugs, and we put them on the center of our beautiful little double stitch scallop circle. So, so pretty. Here's one where we're just using the hello and popping that up on a little bit of foam. Really beautiful and simple card. So if you love circles, this is your set and you can combine it with your circle phrases okay so they fit perfectly um if what do we do that in um what is the oh if you have our just a note stamp and die set that we did uh, i think back in march um there is a different in that die set there is a there's a circle um, and there's also a word die in it, and these will fit, they will work with that, they will coordinate with it. These, this scallop circle is not the same size as that one. That one is a little bit larger, so you can actually, we were very careful with it, you can actually layer those together if you have that set. You can use them with each other, but you can also use your, um, your circle phrases with that as well. So if you have that, I think it's called just a note. So, you know, we weren't going to leave it at just circles, right? We've got to have squares. So here we are with squares. Yay! I love these. I think this is like some of the coolest things we've done in a long time. Um, so here we, are, here we are. Same concept. We have You're the Best on this one, and then we have Hi Friend on here. So, so pretty. Here we have um, used uh, some of the, what is it called? our flower doodles. That's one of the flowers that comes from that. And then the dot to dot stencil in the background. Um, but here is your double stitch scallop square right here. So pretty. Same concept. Uh, it has the scalloped on the outside, the double stitch on the inside. It has a nested square that has the, the cutting edge on the outside, cuts a beautiful square, and then a single stitch. And then here you have your square phrases. And for these, we've got love you, you've got this, hi friend, and you're the best. So fun! Each one of these does have that cutting blade on the outside, and it's going to cut the word out there for you just like this, and then you can take the words and you can use them on another card. So it's kind of a twofer, you know, cut once and get two cards out of it. So we have both the circles and the squares. Yay! <laughs> So that, my friends, that is everything. It's 22 different products. Alan, do you want to bring me back to the front here? Yeah. That is our entire November collection. 22 products. Shocking. Ah. Um, yeah, and like I said, we're running low. We're actually running low on several things, but the, 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 the biggest, uh, the most popular one so far has been that floral silhouette. So if you want it, you might want to grab it. Um, but yeah, 22 products, and I think they're absolutely wonderful. I, we really wanted to do something that wasn't going to be winter and Christmas. We've been doing a lot with Christmas and winter, which I love. Um, but you know, you get to a point where you go, okay, 
and I've, I've been making Christmas cards for a while. <laughs> And you kind of think, you know, maybe I want to try something new. Maybe you want to get ready for Valentine's Day. Maybe you want to do something for New Year's or just start making some birthday cards or all occasions or whatever it is. Um, the great thing about absolutely everything in this collection is that it can be used year round. And a lot of these, I think, can be sta just staples in your crafty stash. So they're not going to be just used once and set aside. You're going to be able to mix and match these as we always do with things that you already have in your stash. And even going forward, you're going to be able to use them with other things that you're going to add to your stash. So who wants to do a giveaway? Ah! <laughs> shall we do a giveaway? Shall we, shall we? What would you give away? Do we have anything left to give away? Mm. Do we have anything <laughs> left to give away? Mm -hmm -hmm. What will we give away? You know what? Let's give away. I mean, we're going to do this. We're going to give away one of my favorites. Yes, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away the Thank You Flowers Stamps and Dies. Ah! Stamps and Dies. And when you get it home, make sure you check out Linnea's video on, um, on our YouTube channel so that you get off and running with it. What? What? I'm mm -hmm. looking at everybody's. Oh, Terry Daniels here too. And Gail Bieber is here. Who else is here? Ah! Deborah Lone is here. Mary Kay. Yay. Okay. Well, everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting for Alan, who's just standing here. <gasps> Alan just pointed. Sheila Fisher. Sheila! Sheila Fisher, you have won, my darling. You have won the Thank You Flowers and Dyes. Yay! So, Sheila, I know we have your address, but if you could please... <laughs> if you could please uh, go ahead and send it to customer service at ldrscreative.com. Uh, uh, full name and your address, and that way uh, we will get these shipped out tomorrow to you right away. Yay! How exciting. All right, everybody, we are early tonight. Only 22 products to go through. Ah! Um, I will tell you that we will be back next week, and I'm going to start digging into these. So to, you know, to kind of tide you over in craftiness, like I said, we have about, I think, five videos that, uh, that, Lin that Linnea put out, and they're all kind of short videos, too. So that's kind of nice. They're beautiful, easy products. Um, oh, who's <laughs> Will says you have time to make a card. <laughs> I don't even think 20 minutes will get me to the concept right now. <laughs> um, but I will be back next week. So in the meantime, take a look at Linnea's videos. Take a look at what she did with these, with these products because she did a phenomenal job. And Alan and I will be back here one week from tonight, 7 p.m. And I am not sure what I'm going to be playing with from this because I have a lot to choose from. But I'm going to be mixing and matching and having some fun. So everybody, thank you so much for being here. I had a wonderful time sharing this collection with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you don't already subscribe to, um, you know, to our daily you know, inspiration and emails and stuff, then please go to our website go down to the bottom and you know you want to be in the know we put stuff out daily we have all kinds of inspiration the most important things that i would say we're not going to be you know bombarding you and bugging you with all kinds of you know buy this buy that buy this buy that it's really mostly for educational purposes so that you get notified of our video tutorial tutorials you're going to get notified of all of the blog stuff that we put out and all of our blog stuff has step-by-step -step tutorials and things that our design team have done so there's really a tremendous amount of you know creative um, and educational things and tips and tricks that we put out uh, to you guys that you can use not only with your LDRS products but you can also apply them to you know, products that you're getting from all, you know, other amazing craft companies. So I definitely encourage you to sign up for that. Um, you'll also get, you know, little discount codes in there periodically too that we don't send out to everybody and you will be notified when we do a collection and when we're doing these videos and brrr, I could just keep going on and I won't because you guys are sick and tired of listening to me ramble on. So I'm going to let you all go for now and I'm going to hope that you'll be back here next Thursday, same time, and um, I will be creating. So we're going to start a new series. It's not going to be the holiday series anymore. We're going to start a new series, and, uh, and we'll see what's going to happen. Um, 
What does it say? Uh, Will is saying, Alan, which is our email? I don't know what that means. Which is our email? Which is our email? I don't know what you mean by that, Will. Alan, which is our email? I don't oh, know. Watch. Why do you watch my email? Maybe that's easy. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a good night. I will see you. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.